Hey you! So if you own any of the jackets on this list, then you need to take a trip to your nearest landfill or Goodwill bin as soon as possible. First up, so we have the Cafe Racer leather jacket. So this actually goes by a few different names, including the Moto jacket and the Clever jacket. But as Shakespeare said, a jacket by any other name would look as stupid. So what else can I say about this jacket except that it's tacky, it's dated, and it makes you look like you want everyone else to think you're a hyper-masculine, super alpha bad boy. I play by my own rules, nobody else's. Not even my own. So, the Cafe Racer leather jacket is one of those items of clothing like cowboy boots or skull-shaped jewelry in that it does not make you look as cool as you think it does. Trust me. Now look, I get it. If you do ride a motorcycle, then I might make an exception as you will need a jacket made from a durable and insulating material like real leather, but as soon as you step off your hog, remove that jacket as soon as possible or you will repel every woman you meet faster than a Suzuki K5. Okay, so let me first say that I honestly think the 90s were a great decade. That said, I definitely have some major issues with the 90s fashion revival trend we're currently going through, which brings me to the next choice on my list, bright and colorful puffer jackets. Now, puffers should always be thought of as a utilitarian item in that they provide you with some much needed insulation during the colder months. However, if you go too bright with the color, then you risk subjecting yourself to an onslaught of comparisons, including the Michelin Man, Mr. Stay Puffed, a poisonous blowfish, the list goes on. Also, speaking of the 90s, can you guys please stop trying to rock those super dated colorful windbreakers? I mean, these things should have been left in the year 94, along with Pogs and hot Johnny Depp. God, he used to be so damn hot. So this next one isn't really a specific type of outerwear, but trust me when I say that we ladies hate seeing a guy in a cheap jacket or coat. So look, I mean, women are more visually perceptive than men. And believe me when I say that we can spot a cheap, poor quality jacket or coat a mile away. They're ill-fitting, they have that flimsy, unflattering shape, and are always made from a crappy fabric that looks bad, feels bad, and provides minimal insulation. Basically, they're a waste of money, and as a result, they show that you're bad with money. Rather than buying a trendy new jacket every year, you should instead invest in great quality premium outerwear that will not only protect you from the elements, but won't fall apart after being subjected to a few light rain showers. Can you see me? Can you see me? Speaking of jackets that can be spotted a mile away, guys, why in the year of Benefer 2.0 am I seeing men shamelessly wearing camouflage jackets? Sorry to burst your bubble, G.I. Joe, but army clothing is specifically designed for functionality, not style. So this means that unless you're either in combat, prepping for a paintball, or going full Joe Rogan elk hunter, then you have no excuse to be wearing any kind of camouflage gear in public. And wearing camo as part of your everyday outfits just makes you look like a guy who can't get over the time he spent or didn't spend in the military. It really is a style move that's practically impossible to pull off, so I suggest that you just avoid even trying. All right, so remember that scene in Back to the Future? What'd you do, jump ship? What? What's with the life preserve? Time to talk about those body warmers. Great Scott! So looking like a puffer jacket with the arms ripped off, the body warmer, AKA like a puffy vest, didn't work in 1955, it barely worked in 1985, and it definitely doesn't work in 2022. So <laughs> this jacket has a specific look that just screams upper class English box hunter or extremely devoted kayak enthusiast and it really has no place on dry land or in your coat collection. So the reason why is that body warmers, well, they just look really bad. They have a super unflattering design that just somehow manages to make your torso look too big, whilst also your arms look too skinny. That's leading to a look that just 
looks awful on every guy regardless of his age or body type. So this next choice isn't exactly a specific jacket per se, but it is definitely a style move that women hate and that is wearing the wrong jackets for the wrong season. I mean, look, we've all seen it, right? The guy wearing a polyester bomber during a snowstorm or trying to rock the heavy wool overcoat in the middle of May, it's embarrassing. Now, I get it. Some guys think, hey, Ashley told me to invest in my outerwear and I spent a few hundred dollars on this coat, so I better get my money's worth. But there really is no bigger indicator that you don't know how to dress than wearing the wrong outerwear as the seasons change. More often than not, it's super uncomfortable and usually results in a look that's distractingly unattractive. So if you've been watching my channel for a while now, you probably know that I love trucker jackets, especially denim trucker jackets. They're manly, they're sexy, and ooh, they're more American than Abe Lincoln shooting an AK-47 while riding a grizzly bear. That said, though there's nothing better than a guy in a good denim jacket, there's really nothing worse than a guy wearing a distressed denim jacket. Okay, so in case you're not familiar with the term, distressed, basically it means that a fabric has been purposely designed to look like it's been worn over a number of years. So this usually means rips, tears, holes, and intentional fading that ultimately results in a super dated wannabe rock star aesthetic that's much more nickelback than it is Led Zeppelin. All right, so speaking of stylish jackets that you're wearing incorrectly, fellas, we gotta talk about those bomber jackets. So don't get me wrong, I love this particular type of jacket. But these days, I see so many guys wearing super oversized bombers that really do them no favors when it comes to their overall look. Now, there are a lot of outerwear options like field jackets and parkas where going for a more relaxed fit makes sense as these are designed to be worn over multiple layers and thus require a bit more room underneath. However, the same could not be said for bombers. And wearing one with a really loose, boxy design is just super unflattering. So when it comes to nailing the fit, you always wanna ensure that the body of your bomber jacket lightly hugs your torso, regardless of your body type. And it doesn't go down past your waistline and that the sleeves stop right around the bend of your wrist, right here. See, it's just that easy. Also, if you are rocking a jacket that features a distracting print or a logo displayed on the front or back, then this has got to go. When it comes to your outerwear, nine times out of 10, you wanna opt for a solid neutral color because it's an item that covers such a large part of your body. Now, don't get me wrong, a textured flannel overshirt or a nice herringbone overcoat can look great, but otherwise rocking a jacket with an overbearing print has a super try hard, look at me, look. As for rocking big Planet Hollywood-esque logos on your back, this is a look that pretty much never works. Believe me when I say that only one person can effectively pull off Ryan Gosling's jacket from the movie Drive, and that is Ryan Gosling in the movie Drive. Speaking of outerwear flair, the next men's jacket that women hate is definitely a sports coat featuring ornate embroidery. All right, so sports coats or blazers are usually considered part of the smart casual or formal wear dress code. And as such, you really wanna avoid overly eye-catching features that make you look like a failed magician or an out-of-work bullfighter. Stylish navy, cotton, or textured brown tweed are classic sports coat looks for a reason, and there really is no need to add flames or floral motifs to try and dress up your outfit even further. I mean, that's not to say that embroidered sports coats are never acceptable, but there really is a time and a place. Are you a celebrity on the red carpet trying to make an impression? I'll allow it. Are you going on a first date and trying to make an impression? If so, get ready for her to get an Uber while you've gone to the bathroom. You heard it here first. 